So the skills that, that are needed haven't changed so much through the course of the digitization. Of course, we have different tools available these days. So a lot of things are more transparent. You can get easier access to documents these days. Um, but there also is a lot more content. So, so sorting through it and understanding it and understanding the implications still is very important. The, the key capacities a good public affairs practitioner should have is to speak and write clearly. That is still very much on top of everything because no matter how well you understand something, if you're not able to express your thoughts properly and if you're not being understood, uh, you will end up nowhere. I put a very high value on interpersonal skills, being able to create a connection. Uh, as digital as this world may be, the decisions are still taken by human beings. So you need to be able to connect the, to them, to establish a level of report and trust, um, because otherwise your well-written message, if you have the first skill, will also not be heard because nobody will pick it up and uh, trust it that it's valid. There is a third part that is very important and that is even more important than in the past. So public affairs in the past often has been about personal relationships and, and being able to connect people. That still is important, but to really understand the technicalities of the process and the inflection points where you have a higher level of potential influence of, of ability to put positions forward. Um, that is very important, especially outside. I'm, I'm a trained lawyer, um, so there is a legal process that that is very clear and transparent. It's written down in the law, but surrounding this legal process is a, a whole universe of, of <laughs> underlying processes and a good public affairs practitioner should understand these uh, very much as well. And the last skill maybe is to understand that all of the different practices, communications, regulatory affairs, public affairs, governmental relations are moving closer and closer together. Um, they're influencing each other more and more and you need to understand these dynamics. A good comms campaign can stop a public affairs effort. Uh, NGOs demonstrate that every other day. Um, the most elaborate public affairs campaign can can fall on deaf ears if you get the timing wrong. Um, so it really depends on understanding all the the different aspects of this puzzle, and uh, that is something people should, it takes a while to get there. It takes experience, but uh, once you get there, this will make you quite exceptional.